kind of look good. Elton John's cousin tried it for a weekend. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I, I mean, these glasses aren't for really anyone's face. You look, you look like you're about to rip some Elton John. These are the most famous, like John Lennon wore them, and he didn't look good in them. Like no one's worn this style and, and pulled them off. You seen him on Zach? Yeah, Zach does look good in them. Yeah. Someone sees you on the subway in those glasses, and they're like, "Oh, he does sex." My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Baseball is happening, March Madness is happening, and the Masters is about to start. Jake, how are you? James, I'm good. We had a hell of a week. How about our friend Trevor Plouf leaving the West Coast, coming to the best coast? New York legalized weed, and I think they're legalizing sports gambling, so like, (laughs) New York's about to party. Fuck it! (laughs) <laughs> Do whatever you want. Run it. But there were a lot of sports being played, Jake. What's the biggest sports headline of the day? James, the headline that needs to be talked about, Final Four, Gonzaga, the buzzer beater, Suggs, a shot that we will see thousand times in our lifetime. More? Mas Menos? I did the classic. I tuned in for the last, like, 30 seconds. I saw the buzzer. I saw the buzzer beater. So now I can tell my kids. Yeah, I watched that game live. I watched the whole damn thing. I said that might be the best shot I've ever seen live. That's gonna be one where, in forty years, they do like top ten buzzer beaters of March Madness, and that'll be maybe number two, number one, like maybe in the top five, I think. And our kids will be like, you know, ask about it. Like I asked my dad about Leitner and stuff like that. Like it, it was a cool moment. It's a big moment. Sports. Undefeated team and. Cut and congratulate them for winning the championship tonight. Great job, Gonzaga. Perfect season. You guys did it. Cut. Baylor! Can you believe those Baylor Bears? They I did had it. them from the start. Sorry, Zags. Tick, 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 tick. Uncut. I'm rooting for both teams, and now I'm kind of rooting for Gonzaga more, even though last week I declared yeah, them dude. I declared them boring. Same, man. I kind of healed on Zaga, so now they're kind of cool. You like them now. So tune in. Jim, almost a breakdown this week. We got to go to the world of baseball. It's a baseball company. How about two of your favorites, Carl Ravitch and, oh, no, Bichette on this clip. Yeah. Uh, ESPN, the number one thing they like doing when they broadcast a baseball game is not showing the baseball. They missed the first pitch two years in a row now. ESPN has done that on opening day. And they also do the split screen and then just give you some bullshit, annoying content that no one wants while the game's on. Carl Ravitch made Bo Bichette sing. Yeah. Bo Bichette's like, uh, okay. And yeah. then he sings like two lines of a Justin Bieber song here. I got my peaches out in Georgia. Oh yeah, that's. I got my week in California. That's that. Mm. Peaches. And then Ravitch is like, oh, and you write too. Wow, what a song. You just wrote that in your hotel room? And do you spend your time in these hotel rooms writing songs? And Bo's like... No, man, it's yeah. Justin Bieber. No, man, I play short stuff for the Blue Jays. I don't write songs. I think you you should know that if I did, but... Also, stop everything you're doing, ESPN. You run the worst broadcast ever, but also, 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 Zach is a singer, and he said to me, producer Zach, he said, like, asking anyone to sing on the spot... Just it's like pretty rude. don't do it, right? Kind I mean, of, Zach's I think, gonna sing a little for yeah, us now. Here's you're, Zach. Here's Zach singing. Come in California. Zach. Wow. All I right. Mean, shy, Zach. shy, but good. What else happened in the sports world, young Jake? Nothing big, nothing crazy. Just a guy getting his finger ripped out mid-fight. Ah! 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 This finger is ring finger, I believe. What noise would you make if your finger got pulled out? Ooh, my finger. Eep! Ah! My finger's gone. He didn't even make any noise. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Just stop the Whoa! fucking fight! Stop! They paused the entire fight, and they said... Uh, crowd, we're pausing the fight because that guy uh, is missing a finger. If anyone's seen a finger, and also if you own a white Ford, your headlights are on. He finished the fight and like didn't seek help, does an interview afterwards, and the guy's like, it, so they said you lost a finger, and he's like, yeah, I don't remember, but I lost yeah. a finger. They attached it successfully, so it's a happy story. Imagine the guy, I found the white Ford, I didn't find the finger. Yeah, upside down, they, ah, shit, we stitched it on, but it's upside down. That's no, no, it's hilarious. No, it's that be a bad doctor. 
Ribbit. Ribbit. You love frogs, shit, Zach. Kinky fuck. Jim in not sports. The police department found a dead body on the highway. Boring. Wait, it wasn't a dead body. It was your sex doll. Yeah, police got a call. Not your sex doll. Like when I say a football team is like your, uh, just uh, I'm your a fan sex of that doll brand of sex the doll. The team. All right, so police in York Township, Pennsylvania, responded to a report of a dead body on Dewdrop Road. That's a great that's road a great name. Road. If you're gonna find <laughs> a dead body, <laughs> a top five road. That's name. a top five. I mean, wow. We live over on Dewdrop Road. That's a great spot. Great spot. Or plot. Or plot. We just bought a plot over on Dewdrop Road. <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right, anyway, it was actually a life-size sex doll, not a real human, Lieutenant mm. Ken Schallenberger said. And this is classic case of the, the the detectives being like, you know, we called for backup to get rid of it. Yeah, you brought it to someone's house. Like, there's a guy on the police department, and they're like, you know, Bob, you want this? Yeah, this is, okay, we'll br- we're going to bring in the guys and throw it away, and it's in the police department and will not be thrown. It's a prop. Yeah. In the police department. It's used blah, 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 daily. Blah. Yeah. Also, I mean, I just love, they're like, we don't know how it got there. Uh, obviously, a wife found her husband's sex style yeah. and threw it on Dewdrop Road. Case solved. Imagine if they did like DNA to like like do the, runs DNA in the Ooh. hole and like you know, like uh, and then they like, did like like you know this is Frank's over on Dewdrop Road. How'd you fi- how'd you know it was me? Oh, we DNA'd your semen. Semen. <laughs> talk about tough time. Oh, that sucks. I didn't see that in any of the notes. No, I've made up the my Frank entire storyline here. This is all on me. It's the employee, employee of, of the week. week. It's, it's the employee, employee of the week. Peep. You look like the worst Mountie ever. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the glasses. I look like the cop that kept the sex doll. <laughs> We're going to kick off the holiday party. Who's employee of the week? None of you suckers earned it. No one. No one earned it. No one earned it. Sorry, guys. We're the employees of the week. Did we already give it to ourselves? We did. We did. Uh, can't do that every week. Nope. Kyle? Kyle. Kyle's good. Kyle kills it. Laptop broke. Actually, oh. opening day, Kyle runs all the uh, socials for Talking Yanks, Talking Baseball, and John Boy Media on every platform. And opening day, there was a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. And he had he was like pinned in. He went. Pinned in. That's not something. He was pinned said. in by us. He was pinned we in. We took him in the back alley, and he was pinned in. Watch every game and tweet out the good stuff. And Kyle did that. Good job, Milos. That was a weekly day. Dump!